Hi everybody, my name is Nazia and it's my privilege to be showing you the Environmental Studies Building at York University. Today we'll be looking at the Career Services Center, the Advising Office, the Student Lounge, the Student Club Office, the Computer Labs, and the Media Center. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. Once admitted to environmental studies, the first place you'll come is the Office of Student and Academic Services, also known as OSAS, for your first year advising. At your appointment, you will learn how to add your courses and tips for success for your first year at York. Your academic advisor is here for you when you first come and throughout your studies. As you grow and your passions evolve, the academic advisor will make sure you're on the right track. So this is the Environmental Studies Lounge. It's a really cool place for you to meet your friends, you have your lunch, you know, work on group projects, or to chill between breaks. There's even computers for you to check your email. Right behind me is the Plasma TV. That's where you find out all the information happening in this faculty. I'm talking about events, activities, all the ways you can get involved. Speaking about getting involved, VESTA is a really great way to do that. Let's go find out more. As I was saying, VESTA is one of the best ways to get involved in Environmental Studies. First things first. VESTA stands for the Bachelor in Environmental Studies Student Association. We are both your student government and social committee. Before classes even begin, you will attend our first year orientation. Throughout the year, you will attend speaker series, movie nights, mentorship program, or study sessions. And of course, our end of the year formal. Our office is located in the lounge, so drop in any time and learn how to get involved. We're here now in the Student Alumni Resource Center, or SARC as we often call it. This is what I value most as an environmental studies student. Today, there are over half a million jobs in Canada in the environment. The dedicated staff here at SARC can help you write your resumes, cover letters, as well as find you volunteer opportunities, internships, and summer jobs. Besides careers, SARC can also help you find funding opportunities. Remember, don't wait till your fourth year to find out about all these great things happening in this office. Start today. So you might have some questions during the school year for your professors. Questions about lecture material, exams, essays, anything. To get the answers to your questions, you'd have to attend their weekly office hours. Weekly office hours are where professors sit down and answer questions for students. If you can't come to their office hours, simply send them an email and they'll reply to you as soon as possible. So now we're on the second floor of our building, where there are three computer labs exclusively for environmental studies students. So you might want to come up here to do assignments, research, or to surf the web. To help you with your classes, there's lots of software for you to use. Speaking about software, there's something called Virtual Labs. Virtual Labs allows you to access all the software we have from home or on residence. And of course, we have color and black and white printers, as well as digitizers and scanners. Also on the second floor is the Wild Garden Media Center. In here you will find cameras for photography, videography, as well as comprehensive editing stations for class and personal projects. 
This video tour was actually shot using the resources and support of the center. Each year, Environmental Studies hosts the Eco Art and Media Festival at York University as well as locations around the GTA. The festival showcases work from students, professors, as well as community members. Just steps away from our building is the beautiful Stong Pond. Students come here all the time to read a book and to relax. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this tour. To learn more information about environmental studies at York University, please visit www.yorku.ca fes discover. And I hope to see you in September.